This is Divine Needle. My name is Nell. And Dee. We are a twin flame couple. And we're going to be doing a cut cross reading for uh, Aquarius. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I shall discard it with your energy into it. Oh, that's funny because they are similar. Yeah, that's <laughs> your energy. Uh, these readings are timeless. So whenever it reaches you, we do believe it's your time to watch it. Uh, yeah, let's see what comes out for Aquarius. Mm -hmm. 10 cards, cut across. Uh, yeah, what's the current situation for Aquarius? What's the current situation for Aquarius? What's the current situation? Okay. King of Co Cups. Oh, sorry. King of Cups. What's the challenge with the King of Cups? Fool cards and seven of swords. Okay. What's been going on in the recent past for Aquarius? Nine of Cups. What's gonna go down in the near future for Aquarius? What's going on in a, in a conscious mind for Aquarius? What's going on in a conscious mind? Three of Cups. What's going on in the subconscious for Aquarius? What's going on in the subconscious? What's your subconscious trying to tell you? Um, that was strange. of pentacles and seven of pentacles okay yeah i got thrown out for a second right there i was like what's going on with this how do you see yourself or want to see yourself Chris? How do others see you or want to see you? for Aquarius. I feel like I gotta take that one, so I will. Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, underlying energy for Aquarius. Six of Cups. Fond memories, past life, lovers perhaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fond memories, people from the past. Okay. Six of Cups energy is a lot. Past life stuff, so. Mm -hmm. This could be the underlying energy for you in this reading, Aquarius. Yeah. Okay. Current situation for Aquarius, King of Cups, talks to me about communicating. Either you are communicating or somebody's communicating to you. Okay. This is the counselor of the deck to me. So, definitely about communication. Usually it's in love, but it doesn't have to be love in this type of reading. But there's words been spoken. Okay. The challenge with that. That's funny because the challenge could be some ghosting going on. Mm-hmm. We had this another Somebody trying too. to sneak away. Yeah. <laughs> they don't, they don't want to communicate, perhaps. They're reluctant to do so. Okay. That's the challenge. And taking a leap of faith. Yeah, they they wanna yeah. They want somebody new perhaps. They want a another person, another beginning with somebody, or they just don't wanna they do not want this communication with you. That's what I'm feeling with this. How do you feel about the full 
being the challenge. Hmm. Let me roast on it for a little while. Go ahead. <laughs> Got to roast them. Okay. That's a good thing to do, baby. Recent past. Minor wish fulfillments, or it could be overindulgence, but uh, that's more of a reverse thing for me. But it could be some wish that came true for you. But it was in the recent past, so... And it is cup, so it, it could be in feelings, could be in love, but it might be in something else too. But, um, yeah, there was some wish fulfillment for you, a little bit. Yeah. That's funny, because this means wish fulfillment, and that That means does, too. Wish fulfillment, too. But in a big way. In a big way. This could also mean uh, a balance between two situations, even within yourself. Healing. Wish fulfillment. Okay. So, hmm. That center thing, let, let me go back to it. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's trying to be Mr. Sneaky, ghosting, because that fool card can quite literally mean a fool, yeah. is... Foolishness. Yeah. To me, Preventing that's, communication. To me, that is like in the reverse. But uh, yeah, you're right. No, I think it's somebody being a fool, mm -hmm. literally. But... That might turn around with this star card right here, because uh, that is wish fulfillment too. So that might turn around. Okay. Yeah. It might flip for you, Aquarius. Okay. How do you feel about that? Mm hmm Yeah. Good. Okay. Consciously, you're focused on celebrating in some way. This is the party card for me. So you do feel uh, like you want to celebrate. Okay. This might have to do with this Nine of Cups in the recent past for you. <clears throat> okay. Or it so. could actually be three party situation. It could be. It could. And that doesn't mean, oh, my man's out cheating on me or my girl is out cheating on me. It could simply be like, people that you're trying to communicate with there's multiple involved in the situation yeah 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 so that could be going on too for you mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> so that's on your minds and your conscious minds right now what your subconscious wants you to know you're focused on the communication and love perhaps okay but your subconscious wants you to know to plant your seeds for the future a material endeavor, okay? And taking care of those. And they want you to focus. Focus dedication. Yeah, very focused. Be focused on uh, <clears throat> be focused on that. Okay, planting those seeds. Okay. That's where your focus should be. Instead of all these cups. That's the advice for you. How do you see yourself or want to see yourself? I uh, really do see this as balance. Okay. That could mean patience too. But I feel it's balance between the material and love emotions. Okay. So I feel this is a want for you. You want balance in your life. Okay. You've also been showing extreme patience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's funny because other people, how other people see you or want to see you, they want to see you balanced too. See those scales, that's balanced. They want to see you give equal give and take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, within those cups and material. Yeah, that's the way I see it anyway. That's the way I feel it. Yeah. Hopes and fears. You could be hoping that somebody takes action, okay, or that you're gonna take action. A fear, hmm. the fear might be inaction, okay, with this 
Like a sneaky ghost thing. Yeah, that might be. But inaction is usually upside down for me. But yeah, I feel mostly just gonna be hope that somebody takes action. How do you feel about it? Mm -hmm. Same. Final outcome for you, Aquarius. There's gonna be some fast income and energy for you. Okay. This can be in the form of messages. Uh, yeah, like text and email. But it could also be a person for you coming in. Okay. So that could be good or bad. But usually it appears it's good. that it's good because mm -hmm. wish fulfillment is yeah. the future cards. It's gonna be happen there's gonna be happening something. Okay, I wish fulfillment for you and fast and coming energy. That could be in the form of person or messages. Yeah. Could even mean uh, winning the lottery. That would be awesome, right? Yeah. Okay, that was it for the tarot. Now let's see what, I have to, what the angel have, have to say about you or for you. Aquarius. Sensitivity. Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. That's cool. Yeah, honor yourself. That's some good advice right there. Yeah, it is. So there you go. That was your reading, Aquarius. I hope you liked it. Please do comment, like, subscribe, share. That would be very awesome. Very much appreciate it. Absolutely. Join us on Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Time-ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to be doing free For readings. For a possible chance at a free reading. Yeah, if you're on time. But uh, some people might leave, so um, you still might have a chance if you are a little bit late. So, yeah. there you go. Uh, from next week, my baby is going to be taking a little break from tarot weekly readings. Um, so I'm going to be doing those on my own because she has to take care of business. Yeah, you're in good hands. He's fantastic. Yeah. So just so you know, that's going to happen. Um, yeah. Um, she needs some break. So. Well, yeah. I've got a phone. I'm not getting a break. I'm actually quite the contrary from getting a break. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be uh, digging. A break from this. Right. I'm going to be digging my heels into... Um, uh, business I need to take care of and my other channel which is um, there to help the star seeds um, with information that they need that's vital for the planet right now so mm -hmm. yeah so and I need to I've had a hiatus from that channel for about a year now I'm relaunching and it's vastly important and needs to have my full attention so mm -hmm. because of me <laughs> yeah, he caused my hiatus, but it was destiny. It was supposed to happen the way it did, so. Yep, you bet. So, bye-bye, Aquarius. Hope to see you Sunday. Have a fantastic week. Ta-ta.